Reports out of New Britain have Brad Carroll being offered jobs by several owners across the area, including a Russian billionaire. Could Brad Carroll be pulling out of the parking lot in New Britain for the last time? Reports our ownership is fed up with the prima donna star and wants him out. Brad, 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 Brad. Brad, Brad Carroll just got it in this elevator where sources tell me he has gone upstairs to demand a trade. Is it true ownership wants to ship you out of New Britain? Um, I can't speak for ownership, but I don't think that's true. Have you demanded a trade? I absolutely have not demanded a trade. Reports are surfacing that there is a deal in place to send 15 show hosts, four sports editors, a fax machine, and a refrigerator to New Britain for Brad Carroll and a batch of Anthony's famous cupcakes, flavor to be determined later. We've reports that several owners have meeting with you, including a rich Russian billionaire. Is that true? Well, I am meeting my rich Russian billionaire wife tonight, but I don't know about uh, any billionaire owners. Brad Carroll! Brad Carroll. For Brad Carroll. Brad Carroll. Several owners across the area, there is a deal in place. Our ownership is fed up with the prima donna star. Brad, can you tell us anything definitive? I can tell you one thing. This is Sports Page Online. Hey, Joey Joe, I did something so awesome this weekend. I can't wait to tell you about it. What'd you do? I covered an outdoor hockey game. Good for you, small fry. I covered three. Oh. Well, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a fantastic experience for us. I can really only imagine what it was like for the players. Oh, yeah. The ice was right in the middle of the football field where UConn plays. The goal posts were up. There was snow everywhere, and it was electric. It was like a football atmosphere. It really was like a football atmosphere. I'll have more on that later, but now, here's Anthony. A trio of area wrestlers won state championships this weekend. In Class M, Berlin's Mason Powers won the 215-pound title, while teammate Mike Fiorello won the 171-pound title. In Class L, Bristol Eastern's Andrew Chase finally got the title after finishing runner-up two previous years. Overall, area teams had a great showing at the state championships, sending more than two dozen wrestlers on to the state open. Back to the desk. Berlin and Bristol Eastern girls basketball teams both lost on Saturday in the CCC tournament. However, their seasons are not over as they're still alive, and next week's state tournament gives them a chance to win it all. It was a great day to be a hockey fan on Saturday, with Whaler Fest going off without a hitch at Rangeler Field. The festivities kicked off with Newington Berlin losing a tough game to Farmington. The Hartford Whalers came back to take on the Boston Bruins alumni. The two teams played to a 4-4 tie in a game that featured stars such as Brian Leach, Brad Park, Pat Verbeek, and Chris Kostopoulos. The Hanson brothers also made a guest appearance, throwing around their weight, attacking officials, punching goaltenders, and spending an extended amount of time in the penalty box. They told me after the game that it was warm in there and that they didn't mind the experience. Now here's Brad with a final rant. I don't think I can get any angrier with Matt Straub after he beat me in horse, but then he went and wrote that the Red Sox were going to win the World Series in his first and goal column. You know, every man has the right to be delusional, but Matt took it a step further by picking the Sox. Now I will say this, the Sox have a great lineup, the Phillies might even have a great rotation, but there's only one team that's going to win the World Series, and that's the Yankees.